A busload of kids from Cannons Creek School hyped up by the knowledge that they're about to be wowed at New Zealand's home of the Iroquois. If you want the sound of mass Iroquois, we're better to come than a Hakia and throw yourself at the mercy of the Air Force. Overall sound of, the, of this actually helicopter, the, the Iroquois that I'm actually after, is, a, is a, like a really nice, unique sound. What we're trying to do is create this clean sound we can get and then, then basically play it downtown for the kids. So the Kiwi's <laughs> got a fairly distinctive sound, so yeah. uh, they get that real sort of thwack, thwack, thwack going yeah. on with the rotor blades and yeah, that, yeah. you can really feel it going through your chest and it's, it's a good sound, good feeling. More comfortable behind our camera, sound recorder's Chris Hiles is roped in to record all the noise Michael needs for his big sound replay idea. Where exactly do you want to be? Well ideally the first sound I think is the, hot, the electrical sort of, the, before the turbine flicks in. Yep, right here. Um, so potentially quite close for that. What you really need to be aware of is that when the, the blades start up, they yep. can come down and we have basically a strict rule where you have to be inside the rotor blades, so right next to the helicopter when it starts. Yes. Once they wind up to speed, yes. uh, the captain will give you a sign and then you can move slowly okay. out. Back from one, uh, as it was then, out on the uh, to the far east by the railway and can rejoin quicker. How'd it go for you, man? It's pretty loud, but no, it was really good. Ideally, I want to try and stand here now, and they all four of them kind of fly over about 20 feet above my head. Pretty awesome sound, though, <laughs> eh? So who wants to go look at a helicopter? Let's go. So, so basically, yeah. this big blade spins around so fast Whoa. that it lifts it up into the air. And we can move that around with all those levers and things and make it go forward, backwards, down, up, and left, right. Easy, simple. Now you're all qualified to be pilots. Alrighty, who wants to have a jump in? Okay. Yay! Can I talk off the helmet? So, would it be accurate to say you're a little bit excited? Too excited. Too excited? But under control. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it going how you expect it? Yeah, the children are doing exactly what I thought they would do. Uh, sometimes listen and sometimes not, but at the same time, quietly excited because, I mean, yeah, why wouldn't you? It's fantastic. And so the best part is actually just seeing the kids actually all smiling and just can't seem to wipe it off their face, like me. Who else wants to turn to the front? Me! Now we're just waiting for these, um, these helicopters to yeah, come so around the corner in this formation. Will be, this will be the bit where you get the, uh, the coming in slowly. Yeah, and that's the nice like, bit. That's yeah, the yeah. lolly bit. I want everyone really quiet for this uh, bit because we want to record it. Oh, thanks for your time, bro. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Sweet. Now the moment. Thank <laughs> you. Nice fit. Yeah! He likes it. Awesome. Nah, that's it. That's that one, man. Can you play that again? Yeah. Thanks. That's appreciation for a day's work, isn't it? <laughs> it was barely controlled chaos, what with trying to get the helicopters, get the sound, get mm. the kids. Mm. A bit crazy, eh? but I think, you think, I think we nailed it. Yeah, reckon? I think we did. I mean, I was in my world and the kids were in their world and picking the rubber and instead of concentrating on the sound, <laughs> um, just keeping it realistic. But I actually think, I think we achieved it. 
So what would you rather do? Spend some time with the PlayStation or go to somewhere like a Hakia and listen to the helicopters? Hakia. Yeah? Yeah. Close your eyes and then you My favourite part was going in the helicopter and the tank. And did you actually have a chance to sit inside the um, Iroquois? Yeah, the actual helicopter? Yeah. Are you looking forward to going to the railway station and hearing that sound? Really, 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 really loud? There's just one little fly in Michael's ointment. He needs to ask permission from Transmetro to play a very loud soundscape to rush our commuters. And he knows that's a big ask. No permission, no art. So Michael, what can we do for you? Uh, I would have liked to approach you kindly and uh, also ask you if it was okay if we can do a sound installation at the uh, front of the railway station. So you basically want to put a helicopter in the railway station? Yeah, just to give that sort of impression of like there's something on top of your roof. We're quite protective of our passengers because obviously in the evenings they're coming to catch the train. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so we'd probably have to give them some sort of warning about uh, what was going to happen to them. And noise wise, we'd have to keep an eye on that. Yeah. Linda will have to check with all the other te tenants in the uh, the building. But you're doing this after office hours, aren't you? The yeah, main focus. Yeah, we sort of wanted to do it around our peak peak time when everyone's on their way home. Yeah. And um, sort of we thought that would be the appropriate time. Keep a tap on the noise, and we can let the people know in advance. Yeah. Yeah, we'll give it a shot, eh? Hey? Nice. This one day away from Michael's big revelation at the railway station. And he's brought along some tape, some videotape, and uh, some of the finished sound to rock these kids up. He's gonna play it all down to them and see what they think and get them all excited and maybe also address the idea of, you know, is this art, kids? How are you gonna, you know, figure this out as art? See where Chris is there? It's just sitting right under the, um, the, the actual blades. So what we were trying to do is get the, the cleanest delivery or the cleanest way of actually taking the sound from the uh, Iroquois. So when we come to the um, railway session tomorrow, basically what we're doing is going to be playing that sound through that system. That got them going. That was that was pretty impressive. Mm, 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 mm. That was even, good. Even just with the little speakers, yeah, you get just, a sense of it, eh? Yeah. I'm actually looking just forward to seeing what the sound will actually do in that space. Yeah. You know, and that's going to be the that's going to be the cool part. And but I did have a little bit of an anxiety <laughs> moment, uh, just because the, on the entertainment factor. But nah. The sound thing is probably the most important part. The kids are a big part of it too, though, aren't they? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. I mean, they're probably sort of trying to process it and trying to figure out, uh, you know, where the hell is this all coming from? What angle is this coming from? And I put myself in my shoes when I was at that age and thinking, not everything reveals itself straight away, but maybe years later, like the Len Lai. Yeah, <laughs> The yeah. Uh, Len Lai sort of scenario or the Ma experience, going to the museum looking for the Ma later on, or. This, those little experiences, and I think that's probably just as important rather than playing the entertainer. Yeah, I can imagine going to a to a helicopter base and seeing the helicopters in mm. there, but I can't imagine the second bit, the going to the railway station and hearing mm. the helicopters mm. at such deafening volume. Mm. I think that'll be really interesting. Mm. Good, interesting. <laughs> <laughs>